Hello beautiful ones, welcome to the Empress channel and Lisi is here just bursting with something to share from my heart that's happened just today for our family. This is all around how much we as highly sensitives and as empaths actually restrict and restrain ourselves from speaking the truth. We try to hold back our expression and our knowing so that we can be considerate to other people's feelings. The reality is, is that every day our emotional climate is actually a sea of the emotions made up from other people. And this has actually put us in a position where we give away our power and where we make sure that none of our decisions actually have any negative emotional ramifications for anyone else around us. The outcome of this intended love is actually that we allow people to get away with stuff that is inappropriate and unacceptable, that our compassion and mercy for them takes a forward seat and our self-honor, our self-respect and our capacity to hold ourselves in love and truth gets squashed and crumpled in the background. So if you're anything like me, you've lived a life being such a chameleon, so adaptive and responsive to the needs of other people. And you really reach a point in your life where you see how this is damaging you. How it damaged me was leading to an insane eating disorder uh, where I compulsively overate for the first couple of decades of my life. I went through a massive weight loss over five years and then I actually developed a chronic binge eating disorder where I would compulsively overeat and, and binge eat to the point of physical pain in my tummy. And the reason why I was so, shall we say, accepting of my eating disorder was that it was easy to take the fallout instead of actually speaking the truth around how others were dishonoring and disrespecting me. Okay, I took the fallout for them. Here's the problem with that. They don't get the update that their behavior is not appropriate or acceptable. So we're actually denying them the power and capacity to be able to change for themselves. Ouch. For me, I've gotten to a place where I love and honor myself so much because my clients are so precious and important. For me, I love them so much. I actually want to lead by example and show them how to speak up for ourselves and put other people in their places and let them know when they are not allowed to speak to us in certain ways and they're not allowed to treat us in certain ways. And the reason why I've become so vigilant and so strong and courageous in speaking up for myself is that I see how epidemic this is with people that are blessed with our gifts that we allow ourselves to be the implode zone. We let ourselves be the collateral damage. We take it for the team and this team just happens to be all of humanity. And that's just freaking epic. We can't do that. What actually happens is we actually get to the place in our own lives where we are so drowned down, where we're watered down, where we're disempowered, where we're facing really seriously consequenting health issues <clears throat> that in fact impact on our capacity to just live our own lives and serve and show up in our own families with our own friends. So I'm kind of just amping this up for myself just to really make a statement and really be clear that as precious and tender-hearted as we become with our sacred spiritual gifts, that we cannot allow ourselves to be the doormats for other people who are not willing to be conscious and aware of their own behavior, of the ramifications of their choices, that by giving ourselves permission to speak our truth and clearly place the responsibility upon others to change their own behavior or remove themselves from our presence, we're actually allowing them to, yes, feel some discomfort. Yes, we're going to feel them feeling that discomfort. And while we would seek to avoid that, we're actually allowing that soul to be served by allowing it to face the consequences of its misaligned actions. If we don't give ourselves permission to speak up and declare what is unacceptable and inappropriate, we are condoning it by default. Okay, and I have done this. I have condoned unacceptable behavior purely because I didn't want to go through the discomfort of bringing it into the conversation and facing this. 
And also because I was very mindful of how that person would interpret it. I'm aware of their wounding. I know how it will tap on their own misperceptions that they're not good enough and they're unlovable and they're undeserving. And so trying to protect them from pain that happens and occurs for them every day anyway is just, you know, it's with good intention. But really, we are the truth bringers. We are the ones that are valiantly asked to stand in our truth, stand in our power and actually stand up and let people know where they're disrespecting us. We don't have to pick fights. We don't have to take on something that's out of our jurisdiction or beyond our level of autonomy or responsibility. But we need to stand as the sovereign queens or kings within the territory of our own lives that you, darling one, are so precious, so important, and that only you can vigilantly guard your territory. I have given my power away. I have shrugged my responsibility because I didn't want to sit with the discomfort of bringing it forward, knowing that not only would they feel it, but I would feel them feeling it. And then that might be a thing between me and that person for who knows how long and blah, blah, blah. In our attempt to avoid that pain, we actually create more for ourselves. I've reached a point where I cannot tolerate this within myself. Within the last four months of my life, I've needed to advocate for my children, for my husband, and for myself in a way that I've never had to do before. And I became so sooky and woe is me and life is unfair until I realized this is the state of the world that we have to actually advocate and stand up and say no and that's not appropriate and I don't like that and you do not have permission or power to speak to me in that way you need to check yourself when we allow ourselves to stand in our power and speak truthfully with love, they may not take it well, but you have at least given yourself permission to stand in your power and speak your truth in a way that honors you. You will be ennobled through this process. You will be strengthened. And that's my hope and my wish for you. I love working with people that are highly sensitive, who are deeply gifted, people who have insight into the truth of what's actually occurring and unfolding for humanity, the psychics, intuitives, and empaths of the world. It's unquantifiable data, but it's still absolutely pure and accurate every time and I want you to know that I trust your knowing I trust my knowing and I trust you to trust yourself that that is the way we reclaim our power and we stand up and fulfill our small individual responsibility to transcend our own suffering to rise up and speak clearly and proudly around the things that you feel called to that was my little heart gush <laughs> If you've made it this far, I just want to thank you for hearing me. I want to thank you for being here. Um, if this has touched you, if you've found anything that I've shared valuable, confronting, if you disagree, if you agree, I'd love to hear from you. If you found it valuable, please give this a thumbs up. It'll help it reach more people. And I know that there are so many highly sensitives and empaths who are letting themselves and their souls be the implode zone because we've not been taught to speak up for ourselves and to clear our truth. This is a big part of my calling and why I've been asked to pass through so much suffering and have so many thousands of experiences of giving my power away so that I could learn how not to. And I feel like I'm here and I want to invite you forward to stand in your power. If you want to hear more of this from Empress Lisi, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be uploading regularly in 2017. I have so much to say and so much to express. And it's all around supporting you, beautiful one, to own the truth of who you are, to come home to your power, live your purpose and prosper in joy. May you be blessed, guided and kept safe. Mwah.